Have you recently been diagnosed with high cholesterol and your doctor wants to put you on a statin? Have you recently been diagnosed with prediabetes and they're talking about blood sugar lowering medications? Or you're trying to lower your blood pressure? Or you're trying to lose those extra pounds? It's a chronic condition. 72% of Americans are either overweight or obese. 33% of Americans have some type of metabolic issue. And one study showed as many as 90% of the folks in America have suboptimal metabolic health, which means they're on the way to those high cholesterol levels, high blood sugar levels. So what can we do about it? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. My name is Dr. John Duyard. Welcome to LifeSpot.com, where we prove the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with modern science. And we're gonna dive deeply into this understanding of metabolic health. You know, the elephant in the room that nobody's talking about is study after study after study showing that there's one underlying cause for all these conditions that nobody's talking about, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So before you go on a medication or all these things, you should probably look at the upstream cause, and that's the topic of today's discussion. All right, so um, let's talk about first, um, the most important thing is that I have so many patients that come to me, you know, and I practice Ayurvedic medicine with ancient wisdom, modern science, and so many of my patients come to me and they're really eating a healthy diet. They're on a really clean diet. They've tried many of the diets, being vegan, or they've tried keto or paleo, some even carnivore, and they have minimal success and they're still fighting with those underlying chronic conditions like high blood sugar or high cholesterol, and they're still wondering, do I need to go on these medications? And they're completely confused. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is stress. Stress in study after study after study has been shown to be the cause of all of these conditions. Stress increases cortisol, stress-fighting hormones, glucocorticoids, epinephrine. These stress hormones create cortisol. They create a fight or flight situation that causes the body to basically dump as much sugar as it can into the bloodstream to get you up a tree to save your life. And there's something called the hypothalamic pituitary axis, adrenal axis, the HPA axis, which basically when it's chronically triggered from stress and stress and stress ongoing, the rev in our society, the constant kind of grinding of incoming information, you know, our phone, you know, driving in traffic, having to go to work, having to make money, how to pay the bills, the politics, everything just coming and coming and coming. It creates a level of chronic stress that is basically unheard of in from an evolutionary point of view. If you think about our ancestors living in, on the land, yeah, they got chased by a bear once every 10 years but now we're doing it every single day. And that is the upstream cause of all these metabolic health concerns. Not according to me, according to the research, which I cite in the article associated with this video, I cite all the science behind this. So please go to lifespot.com, check out all of our, the whole library of articles and videos with ancient wisdom and modern science so we can kind of try to get to the upstream cause of some of these conditions and all that stuff at lifespot.com is for free. When you're under a lot of stress, the body becomes, you know, dumps as much sugar as it can into the blood because of cortisol. And that will create so much sugar going into your blood that your cells will say, you know what, God, stop feeding me sugar. I can't take any more. Even though the stress keeps coming, the cells are overwhelmed. And that causes something called insulin resistance, right? Where the cells basically can't uptake any more sugar that's carried into the cell via insulin. And what happens is the cells become resistant to taking up the sugar, your muscles become resistant to taking up the sugar, and now the sugar begins to build up in your bloodstream. And that causes something called glycation, which is sort of the smoking gun of age-related degeneration, where the, where the sugar molecules stick to protein molecules in your blood, and they become sort of very inflammatory. Studies show that when you have increased sugar in your blood, you have more vasoconstriction, less vasodilation. So that raises your blood sugar. Your body goes, this is a war. This is an emergency. So the kidneys start to hold on to salt and sodium, which also raises your, your blood pressure. So you see the higher levels of blood pressure rising as well. And then because of insulin resistance, under that fight or flight response, your body's gonna break down fat a whole lot faster 
and that's going to, because it needs more fuel, and that can also be, is directly linked to the rise of your cholesterol levels, your HD, your LDL levels, and your triglyceride levels. So all this begins to happen. Now there are studies after studies, and one study with three large databases found that people who are under stress, high stress, have three times the risk of getting metabolic syndrome. People under chronic stress have been shown to, to activate a permanent state of fight or flight in the body, creating a chronic and constant kind of rev of drive the sugar into the blood, create the insulin resistance, and then have the trickle down effect of that affecting blood pressure, like I mentioned, high cholesterol, like I mentioned. Also, when you're under a lot of stress, lots of cortisol in the system, the body's gonna store as much reserve fuel under the mattress as it possibly can, and that's the fat around your belly and your hips. It all ties together. Another study with 10,000 people found that stress was the primary risk factor for metabolic syndrome, the primary risk factor. So we have the good science to prove that. And we also have Nobel Prize winning science to show how you can literally mitigate that stress. Elizabeth Blackburn, who did the original research, won the Nobel Prize on her research on telomeres, found that when you're under a lot of stress, the telomeres, which are the protective caps on your DNA, begin to shorten. And she found that when, and did follow-up studies and found that when you meditate, you can actually lengthen the protective caps on your DNA, which are the direct kind of measurement of degenerative, uh, degenerative process and unnecessary aging factors that you can mitigate by just turning the stress down, right? From the top down, you turn the stress down, the DNA stops being damaged, and the body starts to regulate sugar and metabolism the way we were designed. Uh, in one study with transcendental meditation for 16 weeks, the people who did it compared to a placebo, they saw significantly lower blood pressure, the meditators did, significantly lower stress levels, and significantly lower insulin resistance. Again, you know, just by meditating twice a day for 16 weeks, compared to the placebo, significantly less issues. One other study found that meditation and breathing uh, were, were significantly found to reduce the risk or reverse metabolic syndrome. So meditation has been shown to do that. Another study showed that meditation was able to reduce visceral fat, because we know, right, that stress causes the body to store fat around the belly and the hips. In one study with, uh, with women, um, 50 of them were meditating and the other 27 of them were on doing a placebo kind of stress reduction placebo technique. And they did it for eight weeks and they found that the women who were in the meditating group had significantly less or reduction in overall weight and a significant reduction in waist circumference. So this is what we're talking about is how that we can all meditate. Now I wrote an article about something called the one minute meditation, which is something that I've been teaching for decades. And it's a simple meditation technique that you can do for one minute to reset the stress. And you can do it 10 times a day, which is literally just 10 minutes of your day. You can do it in your car before you walk into your house. You can do it in your car before you go into your job. You can do it in your car before you go into the grocery store. You can do it again and again and again, and it's an incredibly good feeling. So I wanna teach that to you now. It's super simple. It's 30 breaths of what's called bastrika, which is a bellows breath through the nose, and 30 seconds of being still. Now you can make that a little bit longer and stay in the eyes closed meditation portion for longer if you like, but you can also just do it for one minute. 30 seconds of breathing, 30 seconds of being still. Now, when we do this breathing technique, if you feel a little bit dizzy, stop. If you have any issues of dizziness, then check, out, check it with your medical doctor and make sure it's safe for you to do this, but it's a very simple breathing technique and uh, we have articles about the one minute meditation as well. And you can read the science behind this technique called Bastrika. Okay, so it looks like this. It's a bellows breath where you breathe in, like that. So you just like opening your rib cage as much as you can and let it out as much as you can. Your arms can be still and you just breathe 30 seconds. You're literally in your car, the car is off, you're not driving and you do this simple technique. So let's do that. If you feel dizzy after 10, stop and just close your eyes. 
Um, if you start feeling a little bit dizzy, you want to just uh, dial down the intensity a little bit. But in short order, in a very short period of time, you'll be able to do 30 of these sort of very vigorous uh, streak of breaths, and that will create a wave of, of a, 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 about a 10 minute wave of parasympathetic dominance according to the research. So it creates a, a kind of a stimulation that is followed by 10 minutes of a parasympathetic rebuild, repair, rejuvenate, neurological calm. So here we go, let's do it together. And, um, and then I will let you go. The one thing that I also wrote about in this article, which I wanna share with you, is in Ayurveda, they talked about stress as vata, the nervous system. And when that starts to go too fast, it affects a trickle down effect on the pitta, which is your digestion. And that starts to get stressed, it affects your kapha, which is your weight gain. So this has been well understood for thousands of years. And this is where yoga and breathing and meditation techniques came in to actually create, to stop the trickle down effect of stress impacting every system of your body, creating unnecessary degenerative decline. All right, so, so read the article at lifespa.com and while you're there, sign up for our newsletter so you get this information on a regular basis. Check out our library of articles, over 1,500 articles and videos, all scientifically referenced with ancient wisdom, modern science, that's there for you as well. While you're there, check out our Ayurvedic store at Lifespa and check out all of our organic herbs, our skincare, organic, as well as all of our knowledge and courses and, and books and all that is all there for you most of the knowledge in our library, all the knowledge in our library is free. So you can get the information you need to help yourself. All right, let's do the one minute meditation. Here we go. Close your eyes, sit still, and we're gonna do 30 breaths. Keep breathing. If you're feeling a little dizzy, you can stop now if you like. If you're feeling good, you can keep going. If you feel really good, you can breathe with even a little bit more intensity and keep going. And close your eyes, relax, and just sit still for 30 seconds. and slowly open your eyes. And that was a minute. If you feel like you have more time and you like that feeling, you can breathe again for another 30 seconds. 30 more times and then close your eyes. And you could make this into a longer meditation if you want, but just that 30 seconds of breathing and 30 seconds of rest creates a neurological calm that will carry you and kind of reset your ability to be calm in your activity and you can do it again and again and again throughout the day. Like I said, in a very short period of time, the dizziness will go away. You'll be able to handle moving this much oxygen in and CO2 out in a more efficient fashion. All right, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Riard. Hi everybody, I just wanna take a minute and tell you what we do here at lifespa.com. You know, I've been in practice now for 40 years, 38 of them have been practicing Ayurvedic medicine full time. For the last 20 years, I've been writing articles and doing videos on the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with the modern science. You know, if something's been around for a thousand years, still practiced today, and you have modern science to prove it, well, I really feel like that's something we should all be taking a look at. And that's what we do at lifespa.com and all that information is for free. So you just go to lifespa.com and search in your health topic and you'll get the information, the article that you need, hopefully that will help you.
Now, while you're there, check out our Ayurvedic store. You can get there through lifespa.com or go to store.lifespa.com. And there we have all of our organic Ayurvedic herbs, organic skincare line, more books, tapes, knowledge that we give you is all there at our store. All of our cleansing kits are there in our store. All of our herbs are whole herbs with the natural occurring microbiome, the way it came out of the soil. And that's critically important because if I took the bugs out of you, you'd be completely different. We take the bugs away from a plant, like sterilizing and make an extract or spraying your food with pesticides, you lose significant benefit of that plant. And that's why we use the whole plant with the natural occurring microbiome. So check us out, learn more about what we're doing here at lifespot.com and uh, we'll see you again. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.